Hey, it's Azania. How are you doing? This is Elemental Mirror Podcast. Welcome back. If you have listened before, I really appreciate you. We are going to delve into trust and surrender because, I mean, life is full of ups and downs and full of unknown things and quite chaotic sometimes. So something that us as humans tend to want to do is to control everything. And this is a huge issue for me and something that having a child has really taught me to let go of is wanting to control the outcome, wanting to control everything to do with your life and basically to make it a bit more predictable to help you feel more safe and comfortable and less on edge, less anxiety, you know, less uneasy, all of those kind of things. But as you probably know, through your own experiences, life just doesn't work that way, you know? Like, there is a lot of unknown, there is a lot of uncertainty, and we don't even always have the first step, let alone step number 100, or the finish line, you know? Like, there's so many possibilities and so many different timelines that you can jump to that trying to control everything just really cages you in and also I mean because it's not really that possible it also kind of leaves you in a constant state of despair and powerlessness and hopelessness and fear and all of these things you know because you're trying to do something that just isn't a part of the human experience like having full control over absolutely everything is just not how this plane of existence works and if you want to be able to grow and evolve and learn new things and explore life then you're gonna come across things that are unknown and things that are very far out of your comfort zone. And I guess that is where growth lies as well anyway, is outside of your comfort zone. But of course we wanna keep ourselves safe and not just physically safe, but emotionally safe as well. So trying to keep ourselves in our comfort zone definitely helps to keep you emotionally safe in one way, but then in another way it also cages you and keeps you suffocated and actually stops you from being your authentic self so really it kind of damages you in another way and makes you like emotionally hurt and in pain and suffering because you're then restricting your authenticity you're restricting what you want you're restricting yourself and limiting yourself from your purpose and your soul mission and what you're passionate about you know because a lot of the times things we're passionate about are also outside of our comfort zone which is highly annoying but at the same time can be quite exciting when you kind of switch that mentality from fear and nervousness into excitement because they kind of feel the same in the body. So yeah, we're going to pull some cards in relation to this because I feel like this is something that so many people get kind of stuck in is wanting to know all of the outcomes and wanting to cling to the how, the when, the where, the why and all of those things to bring themselves some level of safety and comfort and really we need to be able to cultivate that level of safety within ourselves without having all of the answers and this this for me is like the key but it's difficult or at least I'm finding it very difficult it is to cultivate a sense of safety within yourself without needing to know the outcome and all of the answers like that is just it that is the thing but that is so hard to do when you are so used to survival mode and when you are so used to trying to control everything and like trying to cling to every outcome and trying to analyze and prepare yourself for the outcomes you know like having to let go of that and surrender to all of the infinite possibilities that the universe has in store for you and to trust that you can call in the highest timeline or like the highest version that you want if you actively and consciously try to choose that then you can get to it but like having to have faith in that and believe in that being a possibility is also another thing that so many people struggle with myself in included so I want to talk more about it and kind of give some advice and just my perspective on it because it's definitely one of the keys I feel like to creating more abundance to attracting more abundance to creating the kind of life that you really want to live is really 
it kind of comes down to letting go and releasing control and allowing the universe to bring those things to you because to be honest and this is another thing that I have realized in my own experiences is like your perception of what you want you know all of the things that you imagine your dream life and your ideal thing what the universe can bring to you is so far beyond what your mind can comprehend. Like the level of possibility is just so magnificent and so huge that your imagination and your mind could not even come up with some of those possibilities because they're just not even something you would think of, you know? So when we cling to these ideas or these fantasies of what we want, we actually limit the possibilities, like we limit the outcomes that could actually come to us because we're like focusing in on that one thing and saying that it needs to be that exact way or that exact time and everything. And with those exact people, this is another reason why I say that it's a bad idea to try and manifest your ex because you are completely caging it into that one person when there's so many possibilities out there and so many things that could be way better for you you know like so much better for your well-being and everything and you keep caging it in because you think in your logical mind in your ego mind that that's the best outcome and the best possibility when actually there could be so many more for you if only you would let go and allow it to unfold you know and stop trying to cling to everything so oh the first card birthing a new age birthing new creations dreaming a new world into being isn't that funny how i'm saying about the imagination literally caging you in and this says to dream a new world into being like the level of imagination though compared to what the universe has in store for you can be completely different so I feel like this is even saying to open your mind and to dream big you know not to settle for the small things not to like sometimes we don't believe that we're even worthy of the thing that we really want and like that it's not even possible for us so to me this is saying to actually open your mind and to open your heart and even your trust and level of faith to the fact that this is a new age being born right now like we are it we are a part of it we are helping and contributing to it so stop caging yourself in and stop limiting yourself and allowing the ego mind to believe that what's in store for you is small or doesn't level up to the standard that you want you know like the level of abundance that you want because actually it could far exceed that if only you would believe in it you know so like we are in a new age this is a new age being born there's so much possibilities to you (laughs) the bottom of the deck says yes just say yes like just say yes once you say yes and you acknowledge it and you accept that that's what you want you literally open so many pathways for it to conspire to bring it into existence for you you know like the universe wants you to have your abundance it wants you to have everything that you want it doesn't want you to suffer it doesn't want to punish you But unfortunately, as part of the human experience, those types of things happen. And not only that, but like, there's a lot of people in suffering. So there's a lot of people causing harm to other people, you know, this is something I'm coming to understand for myself is like, no, you didn't ask for certain situations to happen to you. It's not necessarily that you called it in, but other people are causing harm to people you know like they're actively choosing to cause you harm and so you've just been on the receiving end of something that you didn't want but something that they have created you know and we can consciously try and take our own power back by choosing things and creating things that we want and actually healing from all of the awful things that have happened to us and to the people around us and everything you know like really taking back control and choosing things that we actually want like saying yes to all of the things that you love and not just when the opportunity presents itself but before the opportunity is there so in your manifestation work in your energy work in your you know cultivating your home frequency whatever it is that you choose to do with your spiritual practices allowing yourself to actually open up open up your heart space to receive you know because so many times we're closed off and we're blocking ourselves blocking our abundance blocking everything that we want to come in through our beliefs because we don't believe that we can 
have it. We don't believe that we're worthy of it or that it's possible and all of those things. So we, like our frequency, the level of vibration that we're at can be in lack and can be in despair and, you know, suffering and hopelessness and powerlessness. And this is really a message to encourage you to try and shift that to trust, to surrender, to hope and to your power and to realizing that actually life is not against you. It wants you to thrive. If only you would let yourself believe that you deserve it and that it's possible for you, then so many of these incredible things could come into your life. They're just waiting for you to say yes. They're waiting for you to actually realize that you can have those things, to realize that those things are possible for you, you know? And when you open yourself up to all of those things, the game changes quite literally. And again, we have to release the how and the when and the where and the why and all of those things let them go because you don't know when those things are going to come to you we can't necessarily speed it up if it's going to be in divine timing and that could take a couple of years if that's the timing that it's supposed to be then let it be that because that means that whatever happens leading up to it is going to prepare you and turn you into the person that you need to be by the time it comes to fruition, you know? Like, maybe there's some experiences that you need to go through first before you get to that thing, because the version of you that has that thing, you need to get to that version, do you know what I mean? So, the divine timing and the how and the when and the where and all of that, is not something that you need to know right now. If it's not something that you know, if the answers have not presented themselves, then maybe you're not meant to know right now and you can just surrender to that and trust in that and let them come when it's time, you know, and allow these experiences to unfold and your abundance to reach you whenever the time is right. But firstly, it starts with your own vibration and your belief system and realizing that actually you can have everything that you want. Oh, we have the emperor and we have the five of wands. There could be a lot of internal conflict, a lot of ego, a lot of logical mind, you know, not necessarily believing in your power, a lot of frustration, a lot of back and forth. And I just feel like this is, again, confirmation that sometimes we really just need to do the inner work. Sometimes we really need to actually look at the way that we speak to ourselves, the way that our thoughts and our mind kind of is so conflicted and so back and forth. Like this could be even multiple aspects of you that are conflicting against each other, or it could just be the way that you speak to yourself and how unkind you can be to yourself, you know, and your lack of belief in yourself, constantly telling yourself that you can't have what you want. And like, sometimes you only have to look around to other people and see what they have and see how possible the things are because you can see that somebody else has got it, you know? When we're in lack, we look at other people and we feel jealous, we feel envious, we feel like, oh, why have they got it but I haven't? Or it's only possible for them but it's not possible for me. But actually you could flip that script and realise that you're being shown how possible it is because somebody else has done it, somebody else has got it. That is like confirmation that this thing that you really want is so possible because you literally have just seen it play out for somebody else, you know? Like sometimes we have to really pay attention to the narrative that's being played in our minds because if you only just turned the angle a tiny little bit, you would see it from a different perspective and realize that actually this could be a blessing in disguise. Like actually what you're experiencing or what you're being shown is confirmation of all of the incredible things that could actually be coming to you if only you would open yourself up to receive them and if only you would believe in the possibilities and the fact that it is divinely orchestrated and it is 100% available to you if you want it and if you trust in it and if you let yourself have it you know and don't get me wrong this is something that so many of us do and something that I have done a million million times I feel like I say this in every video like it's something I struggled with it's something that I've done but it is true because there's just been a lot of things that I have struggled with especially when it comes to thoughts especially when it comes to the narratives and the stories that my thoughts will tell me like that is something I'm really happy to get a grip of but it's still something that I struggle with even now you know so it's not necessarily 
um, like an overnight quick fix but it is definitely something that can change because again as I've said in previous videos it is a daily practice and something that you continuously do with every thought that arises you know every time you clock that a negative story is spiraling and is up in your space invading your thoughts then you can tell it to leave and you can shift your mind to something else and start thinking about something else I just want to um address the fact that the bottom of the deck again after another card has come out is yes <laughs> so this reading really wants to tell you that yes like yes you can have the thing yes it is time yes it is possible yes it is available to you but you need to be the one to adjust that mindset and adjust that vibration by raising your vibration by doing things that you enjoy by celebrating yourself by and this is just small things you know it's not necessarily huge things but like for me something I love to do is get up and dance although I don't really do it that often but it is something that will change my mood in an instant is to put some good music on and to just sing and dance around my house you know like that is a form of raising your vibration there's so so many ways to do it and it's just something that you enjoy and something that makes you feel good literally that is what raising your vibration is it's doing things that make you feel good you know so the card that came out was the crumbling what are you clinging on to and it's funny that actually at the bottom of the deck with the uh rider weight deck is that what it's called god i haven't even said the name of it in so so long i can't even remember but the bottom of that deck was the four of pentacles which would also be about clinging to things and holding on to physical things especially because it's a pentacle card which is earth so it could represent holding on to um like your belongings and material things that you like even hoarding really things that you don't want to let go of out of lack but it could also obviously be emotions it could be thoughts it could be situations and circumstances you know it could be job opportunities that you won't let go of even though they make you absolutely miserable so what are you clinging to because these things are beginning to crumble and it's funny how crumbling has come up along with birthing a new age because we all know that so many things are crumbling so many systems so many outdated beliefs so many industries and the way that they were run like just literally everything to do with the force matrix and to do with life and the way like the societal norms that we live in the way that it's run the way that it functions so many things within that are crumbling on a macro scale and at the same time in order to bring about that change we have to do things on the macro scale which is internal we have to do things to do with our thoughts to do with our emotions to do with our beliefs before we can then change the physical you know so this is again coming back to what are you clinging on to what things are no longer serving you what things do you need to let go of what things make you miserable what things go against you birthing a new age you know like if there's a new paradigm a new dream life a new dream world that you want to create all of the incredible things that you want to bring in that are so full of joy and so full of love and so full of abundance and excitement and passion and everything else that you want then in order to bring that in all of the outdated things need to go you know like you need to be able to create room for the new to enter so that means clearing out a lot of things and that could even be as I said about hoarding like that could even be clearing out things in your space space like in order to bring in new physical abundance you need to clear out all of the things that you don't actually want the things you don't actually use this is why doing house clear outs is such a powerful thing that you could do as like a ritual you know to clear out all of the old things even when you go through a separation clearing out all of the old things deleting all of the old pictures stuff like that you know like clearing out everything that brings bad memories everything that doesn't serve you everything that you don't even use if it's physical things you know things that just are weighing you down all of the baggage what things are you clinging on to that need to go and especially your thoughts and especially emotional regulation as well i want to add to that like really looking at your emotions that you've been holding on to maybe it's even a state of being you know like victim mentality or lack mentality lots of different beliefs because sometimes we cling to beliefs where we feel like they bring us a sense of safety 
and a sense of like comfort you know if you've spent your life in lack mentality that's your comfort zone like that's your home frequency that you're used to so to try and get yourself out of that and into abundance mentality can be very very scary and intimidating because your comfort zone and your safety blanket is all of these thoughts that reaffirm the lack that you have you know like if you constantly tell yourself oh of course that's not mine because I never get the best thing you know like if your thoughts are along those lines of all these negative things then every time an experience or situation happens in your life that reaffirms that belief it kind of brings you a sense of validation it's like well yeah I said it I knew it and here it is it's just happened it like it constantly reaffirms what you've already been telling yourself you know and that kind of brings you a sense of validation and a sense of like comfort and like a safety zone type thing so in order to get yourself out of that you have to step out of your comfort zone and that can be quite intimidating and bring up a lot of fear you know and this is again encouragement that if you want to create the new age and the new life and your dream life and all of the incredible goals that you have then you need to be able to step out of your comfort zone and that does mean fear like it does mean facing those fears facing the anxiety facing the negative emotions that maybe you cling on to out of comfort or that you cling on to out of habit and things that you're used to you know so it's time to really face them and make the changes that you want because only you can change your life you know only you can do the things that will actually bring you joy because only you know on a soul level what it is that you're here to do and what it is that feels authentic to you and what it is that you're passionate about and what it is that excites you you know only you really know those things on a core level so you need to take your power back and allow yourself to do things that bring you joy and let go of the outcomes of everything else the how the when the where and the why and all of that because that just causes you more suffering to be honest and it also limits the possibilities it limits the outcome it limits the potential you know you're stifling your own potential and the potential of your life every time you want to analyze and hone in on a specific outcome in a specific way because there could be so many better options out there for you you know you just need to open yourself up and allow yourself to have them allow yourself to believe in it so I'm going to pull a couple of cards of advice and just see what comes out just to close out this message. I hope that this resonates with you, but always, oh my gosh, <laughs> always leave what doesn't resonate is what I was going to say. But blimey, these cards just flew on out. We have the strength card. Okay, I'm super fuming because I just finished filming this whole podcast episode and then I realised that my iPhone storage was full. So it cut off when I was pulling these cards and the cards flew out. So everything that I said about those cards has been completely cut off. So we're going to have to go right back on over that real quick <laughs> just to finish out this podcast episode, which is so annoying. Like apparently that message was not meant to be received in the first round. <laughs> so we're gonna go again and see if even better things come out but the bottom of the deck I can't remember which order these blooming cards were in but anyway the strength card came out and it's little miss Leo and I have a Leo moon so I always get excited whenever that card comes out but this is gonna require a lot of strength okay so let's get into the nitty gritty because I feel like I've got to repeat myself so we're just going to roll with it now and it may come out completely different to how I said it before but the path that we're on is going to require strength you know if you want to birth a new age if you want to change your life if you want to bring about abundance to you when you're so used to being in lack everything that we want you know is on the other side of fear everything that we want is outside of our comfort zone and all of this is going to require strength it's going to require bravery and courage and perseverance like there's so many qualities to be honest that it's going to require but one of those is most definitely strength because when you are nine of swords in so much doubt and so much worry and analysing and overthinking and in despair, you know, like when you're feeling powerless and hopeless, 
that state and that vibration is so suffocating and so consuming that in order to get it to get out of it, it requires a lot of strength, you know, it requires some kind of like spark, some kind of activation or catalytic moment to be able to pull yourself out of it or to at least see the light, you know, like see a, some kind of possibility that you can change things and to me this reading because we have the four of cups at the bottom of the deck is like full confirmation of everything that I've been saying that when you are so focused on the outcomes that you want or not necessarily just even the outcomes but sometimes we're so focused on the problems you know when you're so focused on things that don't feel good things that harm you or when you're so focused on worrying when you're so focused on the issues and the problems and the negative things and the sadness and all of these things that constantly make you feel terrible you miss the opportunity that's presenting itself you know like if you're so focused on an outcome that you want if you're so focused on the ideal life or the specific goal happening in a specific way, then you could miss the potential that the universe is trying to show you where you could have it in an even better way and it could be completely different to what you imagined, but you're shutting yourself off from it because you don't believe in any other possibility or any other outcome, you know, like, and especially because below that is the five of pentacles, which is all about lack when your mentality is so far in lack and so frustrated and so doubting and you know constantly repeating the same stories over and over again of it will never happen to me because it just doesn't or I don't deserve it or I don't you know like I'm not worthy of it or it's just not possible because bad things always happen to me and stuff like when these kind of thoughts are repeating themselves to you and you start to believe them then of course nothing good is going to happen because the universe responds to our beliefs it responds response to our vibrational state you know so if you are stuck in lack then you're going to continuously get experiences that validate that and that confirm the lack that you believe in but just like I said earlier about shifting the angle shifting the perspective even just a little bit like that confirmational experience where that thing comes in and it confirms your beliefs and like literally reiterates what your belief already is when you get that experience if you were to shift your perspective a little bit again you could instead of seeing it as like oh negative things always happen to me and then in comes another negative experience you can see that as confirmation of the fact that the universe responds to your beliefs you know like the fact that a negative experience has just come in when you know that your beliefs believe in the fact that you always experience negative things like the fact that that confirmation has just happened shows you that the universe responds to you so if you were then to be able to do the inner work and shift your beliefs and start to, obviously it's a daily practice, I'm not saying that this is just going to be an overnight fix, but like if you were willing to do the work to try and transform your beliefs and start to be kinder to yourself and start to take care of yourself and pay attention to your thoughts and try and shift them when they're really mean and negative and stuff, like if you were to actively do that on a day-to-day -day basis and really start to raise your vibration and do things that bring you joy because that's what raising your vibration is if you were to start to like do more fun things and take care of yourself and be kind to yourself and do your shadow work and inner child healing and transform your beliefs then you would start to get the confirmation again of the new beliefs that you're starting to reinforce you know like I noticed this with myself and my own experiences that as I started to pay more attention to things that I was grateful for there was more things to be grateful for and as I started to feel more joy there was more things to feel joy for you know like and don't get me wrong there were still negative experiences that happened along the way because you know we can't control everything and there's still opportunities for growth and there's still things that and situations that involve other people and their life experiences that impact ours so not every experience is going to be positive no matter how high your vibrational frequency is you know but there's still things that we can take control of and do have power over and that is our beliefs and the way that we behave, you know, the way that we speak to ourselves, the way that we interact with other people and 
the things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis like we do have control over those and of course we want to control the outcomes of the external but in reality we only have control over the internal we have control over what we do we don't have control over everything else and instead of trying to take control of all of the things that we want to manifest on a physical level instead of constantly trying to control those outcomes if you were to bring the control back to yourself and control your vibration and control how you navigate through your emotions and control how you respond to every thought that comes up and how you speak to yourself and how you take care of yourself and those kind of things that are on an internal level they're what we have control of so if you were able to shift that control and the perspective back to those things you will transform your life and you will start to notice more things that bring you joy and more things that you have control over and more positive experiences that you want to bring in you know like it's just honestly about surrendering to the external it's so funny actually this has just come to me now it's so funny how we constantly want to control the external we constantly want to control what we bring into our lives and yet on an internal level we constantly feel powerless isn't that so ironic like we always feel like we can control everything else externally even though we can't really and yet we don't feel like we can control anything internally like we don't feel like we can control our emotions and our thoughts and you know how we perceive the world and our beliefs but yet we constantly want to control everything that's external and how other people behave and the types of experiences that we have like how ironic is that <laughs> But yeah, so this is just another reminder to bring the perspective back to the internal. As with every video I ever talk about, it always comes back to yourself and your beliefs and how you treat yourself. And then that will affect and impact how you carry yourself in the world and how you feel about the world. And then that will impact the types of experiences that you have. So yes, I really hope that this episode helped you in some way. Thank you so much for listening on the podcast apps as well as watching on YouTube. I really appreciate you. Definitely check out the description for everything about me, links to my music and my phone number and everything else. And I will see you in the next episode. Have the best week. Bye.